Wonderful as this IK's communication system is, you should know that this machine speaks phonetically and with no expression. So if it doesn't pronounce Shady's name correctly, it's not my fault. LOL. Bless Ian is a wonderful human being, and all he does for us and many other worthy causes is above and beyond. I first met him at his home run derby fundraiser last summer, held in Lancaster at the Bounstormers Clipper Magazine Stadium. I came up to the elevator and it was full. This good-looking guy stepped forward and stopped the door from closing, made room for me in my wheelchair and got me in. I realized who this guy was and it was all laughs after that. It turns out he Sean and his family and me were all headed for the same place, the ALS guest box. He pushed me in my wheelchair off the elevator, down the hall and into the room making me feel like a star, being escorted by the one and only. What a wonderful family, they all stayed and did pictures with everyone, handed out t-shirts and balls, and I got to do a by the yard promotional video. Plus got to meet his grandfather, a real gentleman, an Air Force veteran like me. It was a great day. Now this is the kicker. I was at the same fundraiser home run derby the summer before, but just to see all the pros try to hit a softball. I had no idea what ALS was, thought Lou Gehrig's disease died with him. That was a good summer, brought the grandkids to Disney World, caught a four foot long barracuda in the Gulf of Mexico, was playing guitar and singing in church, open mic blues bars in at the nursing home of my 91 year old mother. Something wasn't quite right though, little did I know that just a few months later that I would receive the DV stating diagnosis, you have ALS, there is no cure. Fate is not a coincidence, I know what ALS is now. This past autumn I was coming down the turnpike, and there was one of those billboards that changes every few seconds. As I got to it, the picture changed to an action shot of a Philadelphia Eagle, number 25 on the jersey. Beneath was written the words, Ever fall we rise. I couldn't tell if the billboard was for the Eagles, or for this work of Lishan, either way those words for me ring true. All my life's a circle. Thank you, Dave. Technology is amazing. I'm so glad you could talk to us tonight. And Sean, would you mind just saying a couple of words to folks? Because I, they really didn't come here to see me, believe it or not. <laughs> so Sean, thank you for everything you did for us. Here you go. Thanks everybody for coming out today. Dave, hey, thanks. Uh, just Hearing some type of words about my, myself, uh, you know, my foundation, uh, my, my family, it means so much to me. So, so thank you. Um, you know, my grandmother passed away a couple years ago. Um, as a group, we really wanted to find a way to make more people more aware. Uh, as a family, we came together. Oh, you know, it was tough. It was time we shared tears together. Um, you know, cried together had some different thoughts together, but the main thing about everything that was just together, we were there you know, for my grandmother. And you know, I felt like that brought us closer as, as a family. Um, you know, my grandmother was a great, great person. You know, so this is some small, you know, compared to how big a person she was. Um, and honor her to, to, to try to find a cure and, and throw so much with us. Uh, and try to find different ways, you know, to get more people involved. Because it may not be illness, it may be another disease. But just to have that ability to, to talk to people about different things other than football, I think the biggest thing um, with my name is the Sean for the football player. And as I've talked to a lot of the different families, I think the biggest thing that you kind of realize about me is just, um, you know, I love doing this and I love sharing, you know, my experiences with my grandmother and my, and my family with you guys because we can share that. You know, there's something that I may learn from each individual, not only just here, but, but you know, fans around, other than football. And just as a family, you know, stay together, man, and we fight on. I mean, a lot of people that I've met that we have been diagnosed with ALS, they're, they're a tougher fighter than I am. You know, and I'm fighting these 300 pounders daily. <laughs> so it's a big difference, and uh, just thank everybody for coming out.
day you had me here over here in tears. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to be tough, but uh, just, just thank you. Um, and hearing things like that, it, just, it makes me want to do even more. Uh, so everybody can, can have that, that feeling. Uh, and I would do anything to help get the individual out. Uh, just, just thank you guys for coming out. Uh, you know, at least here I want to try to do something better and better. Uh, to get the word out, get more people aware. Uh, I'm trying to find a cure. Thank you very much for all you do for us. In many ways that these folks don't know, you are a hero of hope.